real quick. Um, so in this case, um, we want to be able to determine, and I'm sorry, I got a, OK, so we want to be able to determine what our value of y is and what our value of x is. Now, one thing I automatically know is I see an angle that shares a vertex but does not share a side. So when we have two angles that share a vertex but do not share a side, we know those are vertical angles. And what's even more important about vertical angles is how their measurements relate to each other. So Jared, do you remember how vertical angles relate to each other? Keith, do you remember? Imani? Layla? They're equal to measure. Very good. So now you can write that down so you can remember it. So you have y is equal to 40 degrees. Okay. So now, um, if I know that that's 40 degrees, so let's go back to this triangle. Well, I'm just kind of like taking this over here. So I know that's now 40 degrees. That's 2x, and that's that. Well, if you guys notice, these two angles are equal, right? So if that's 2x, that has to be 2x. Now we know, remember, the measure of all the angles in a triangle add up to 180. So I can say 2x plus 2x plus 40 equals 180 degrees. We have to do it that way. No, I mean, you, can, you don't have to write the equation. I'm just trying to show you mathematically what would make sense for me. Plus 40 equals 180. Subtract 40. Subtract 40. 4x equals 140. Divide by 4. Divide by 4 x equals um, 140 divided by 2 is 70. Divided by 2 again, it would be 35. These two angles are exactly the same, right? They both have one angle mark. So they're going to be equal to each other. All right. Now, what I will say, though, compared to what your work is, um, 